new from Vinegar Syndrome 1, 4 Kino Lace is the sadness. Now, I quickly jumped on this one because I've heard nothing but great things about this film. It's one of those ones that's, you know, kind of zombies, kind of bloody, violent. I'm kind of there for that sometimes if it's done well enough, and the sadness is definitely done well enough. We jump into a young couple at the start of this one, just woke up in the morning, they're going around their morning routine, they say goodbye to each other, and then it all begins. Sheer carnage. I mean, this happens, it is jaw-droppingly effective. It's gory, violent, visceral, icky, all the fun stuff that you want in these kind of movies. <laughs> This is almost reprehensibly violent. And I'm there for that. I kind of like the idea of these zombifications. It's not zombies. It's a viral outbreak. It's a virus that's going to uh, turn people into sadists who love to torture and hurt people when they're not sexually assaulting them. Or sometimes, hey, they're doing them at the same time. Uh, these are... People who are violent and sexually rampant. It's a horrifying mix. Uh, you don't know when they catch somebody whether they're going to kill them or do other things to them. Pretty soon you find out it's usually both. What's all down here? Huh? Oh, I, I kind of like this one for what it was. You know, you've got this. The couple at the start who are separated, the guy wants to get to the girl and we're following these two people's journeys as one is just trying to stay alive and the other is, well, trying to stay alive but get to his love as well. And there is a range of characters that you come across and even the bad guys in this one are, show up a lot and they're incredibly fun. It's a tongue-in-cheek violent movie. It's not played for serious stakes is just viscerally brutal and I really appreciated it for that <laughs> a lot of times watching this I was just like whoa, whoa, whoa that's crazy that's fun and I had a great deal of time for this one it was um really well done. It has these nicely shot moments. Uh, even the, the moment at the start is our heroes just looking out over the cityscape and there's just that little odd person standing on the roof all in own white but with blood all down the front of them that gives us those eerie vibes. The initial attack, attack is just well it, it sets you up for what you're going to get in the rest of this film which is brutal chaos. <laughs> Gallons of blood, body parts are ripped from people, uh, people look crazed uh, in this one. Uh, the kind of goo that they're dripping onto other people is disgusting. You can almost see the viscosity of it as it's glippy and hanging and sticking. Uh, bodily fluids are, you know, aplenty in this kind of film. There are many standout sequences, which I don't really think I should mention here because, shocking all, I, th I think you should... See them for yourself. If you're looking for a film that has rich characters you're going to believe in, you're going to care in, you're going to want to see survive, that's probably not the sadness. That's the one thing that's kind of lacking from this film. Any real empathy or care about... <laughs> Honestly, didn't care if or who would survive at the end of this one. It just was someone to follow as sheer mayhem went on. It was the mayhem I liked. I liked the carnage. I liked the blood and the guts and the effects and everything was super fun and just silly. It wasn't uh, repugnant. It didn't put me off. It was just... An escape from reality. Watching these people just lose all human 
qualities and become feral was <laughs> entertaining in this one. I love um, the man in the the subway who is just he's so downtrodden. He's, you can tell everything about his life, and this just snaps in him, and he is released, allowed to become the beast he knows deep inside that he is. And that is one of the best performances in the film. And it's the guy on the cover right here. Watch out for him. He's a nasty little fellow. Uh, but in an entertaining way. I really enjoyed the sadness. It was incredibly fun. I hope there's a sequel expanding on the story of this one. Or more within this world. Because it was just so entertaining. Transfer's great. Really well done. Nothing but good things to say about this one. I, I liked it. I really did. And I'd love to know your thoughts on it. So let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, felt somewhere in the middle, and why. Because I would love to know. Because I'm just nosy. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to Patreon, Membership Program, and MandyFilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.